Hello my beautiful viewers, what I've got now is another episode with uh, the Irish Fit to Mildew. Here we go, one second. Ha <laughs> ha, big Jesus. Ha <laughs> ha, big Jesus. Hey Margaret, Margaret, uh, Margaret. Yeah, uh, when I went away with the lads for a couple of days, uh, do you know what happened? Do you want me to tell you? Do you know what happened, eh? I got drunk, Margaret, I got drunk, yeah. Uh. And it was raining. It was raining, Margaret. It was raining. Yeah. And uh, I was in, you know, in the UK where we went, as you know. Yeah. And I went into one of those old uh, British uh, phone boxes. Yeah. I couldn't get out, Margaret. I couldn't get out. You know, I just couldn't get out. I couldn't figure out how to get out of the box. I couldn't believe it, Margaret. Couldn't believe it. The lads had gone uh, to the hotel. I was stuck in there till morning. Got a police officer helped me out of the box. I was even, uh, there's only three sides and I couldn't figure it out. I was even pressing, I was that drunk, Margaret. I was even pressing the side with the phone in. I couldn't believe it. I do not believe it. I do not believe it. Bloody hell. One second. Ha <laughs> ha, big Jesus. And do you know what else happened, Margaret? Do you know what else? Me and the lads, we went to London Zoo. London Zoo, Margaret. London Zoo. Do you know what happened? Do you know what happened? No, Victor. A bloody uh, gorilla escapes from the bloody cage. Yeah. Bloody all over me it was, Margaret. Kept hugging me at that. Bloody hell. It's bloody petrified, Margaret. It's bloody petrified. I don't believe it. I just do not believe it, Margaret. Why do these things keep happening to me? They had to dart it in the end. So it fell asleep. It was humping my leg, Margaret. I don't believe it. I just do not believe it. Unbelievable. I do not believe it. Ah. Yeah. And, it, and the one last thing, Margaret. Well, I didn't want to tell you this, but I'm going to anyway. Yeah, do you know what happened? We were at King's Cross Station in London, waiting for a train, yeah? And this elderly prostitute, uh, yeah, comes up to me and propositions me, do you want some business? Do I want some business? I said to her, do I, hell? Be on your way, I said, be on your way. Unbelievable, Margaret. I do not believe it. Bye.